Nerve gas is one of the most feared weapons ever created. It's colorless, odorless, and lethal. Chemical soldiers face dangers like this every day. You never know what you're gonna find uh, overseas, whether it's gonna be an actual chemical lab or it might be somebody that's trying to make homemade explosives. Nerve gas is a chemical weapon. It kills instantly. Nerve gas paralyzes the nervous and respiratory systems of its victims. It makes breathing impossible. Uh, it's a blood agent, and it'll pretty much eat through your canister on your mask, and that's, uh, that's bad business right there. That's bad juju. Deadly sarin gas, a form of nerve gas, was made famous in this 1995 attack on a Tokyo subway. It killed 12 people and proved to the world that a chemical attack can happen anywhere at any time. Another kind of nerve gas, called VX, was used by Iraq in the 1988 Iran-Iraq War. Thousands of people were killed after Iraqi forces dropped chemical bombs over a town. The Army's chemical soldiers trained to combat these deadly killers at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Though it's a training mission, these volunteers use lethal nerve gas. This team of chemical soldiers must determine if there are deadly chemical weapons in this clandestine lab. They immediately notice the stove. Something is cooking. It could be the makings of a chemical weapon. The soldiers are cautious. You don't know if it's going to be uh, the chemical agents that's going to get you, or is it going to be some type of booby trap? Something you might have on might accidentally spark that place off. The air is toxic. The men breathe air from tanks strapped to their backs. After 30 minutes, the soldiers will run out of oxygen. The substances in the beakers are suspicious. A soldier takes a sample. You can be looking just for just simple compounds, just something that could, two different elements that might combine together to make one lethal element. One mistake could be fatal. If any nerve agent gets in those suits, the soldiers will feel the horrible effects immediately. Symptoms would be uh, confusion, uh, headache. Rapid breathing. Vomiting, defecating. Loss of consciousness. Chemical weapons are an increasing danger in our world. They're often called a poor man's atomic bomb because they're relatively easy and cheap to produce. Despite a ban on chemical weapons worldwide, it's thought that nearly 20 nations still have thousands of tons of nerve gas agent. It could be as low budget or as high budget, depending on what type of finances that the uh, terrorists might have. So you need to know what to look for, what to expect. And you know, when you go in, you need to be prepared for anything. The soldiers must figure out which deadly chemical is in the lab. They carefully take a sample and place it on this hazmat ID box. The box immediately gives them the answer. Deadly VX gas. One of the most dangerous parts of a chemical soldier's job is getting rid of the nerve agent. Soldiers neutralize the deadly chemicals by carefully covering any contaminated surface with charcoal powder. The troops keep working, even with deadly gas still floating in the air. Chemical soldiers have only seconds to react if they're exposed to nerve agent. They're trained to inject a special chloride-based solution into a victim's leg. The solution quickly enters the bloodstream, saving the victim's life. Chemical soldiers have little room for error. With proper training and caution, they get the job done.